Entering Friday, it seemed very likely that the jury would get the case and possibly deliver a verdict in the murder trial of two men charged with the killing of 15-year-old Tynesia Humphrey. New evidence was introduced and some second thoughts from a jury member that may extend the trial into next week. The beginning of day three was marred with hours of delay after it was revealed a juror was recorded saying he was too emotionally tied to this case. Humphrey was shot and killed as an innocent bystander in Gilpin Court last September. Tyree Coley and Savon Henderson are facing first degree murder charges in connection to the 15 year old's death. The juror in question lives close to the scene because Humphrey was so young, the recording indicated he would be biased in his judgment. In the end, the juror said he would try not to let those factors influence the proceedings, and the trial moved on. The prosecution then revealed that Henderson spoke to his girlfriend from jail on the phone this week. She was supposed to testify and never showed up. Officials say she is now in custody and can testify. Prosecutors believe that phone call is why she no-showed, implying Henderson pressured her. The defense also heard the phone call recording and says nothing in it shows he pressured her not to come to court. The judge says he's going to allow about two minutes of that phone call to be played for the jury. As for when this case will wrap up, the timeline isn't 100% clear, but the judge says it'll likely be next week. Reporting in Richmond, Jake Burns, CBS 6 News.